Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI collection view search. So it is going to look like this. Uh, so we'll have a search uh, as a text. You can just reframe the search UI of your own. Uh, right now I'm just going to demonstrate how the search works. So here you can see I am just searching through the Kira and everything uh, works. This is just a collection view. And in our previous tutorial, uh, we have already learned about collection view, how we can bind the data. Uh, with the collection view so if you are uh, again new to the channel then you can just search my channel jamrin guy here uh, in my maui beginner to advance as a playlist uh, here i have already discussed about dot uh, net maui collection view on uh, uh, 23 number so you can just take the uh, jaml basics and uh, in our next tutorial we'll just use dot uh, net maui c sharp uh, implementation and uh, implement the search feature for inside our collection view so uh, this tutorial will be a very short one so i'll just uh, directly go to the uh, project so here uh, we are telling that app app cell to start where app cell has encapsulated the main page okay so here you can see we have encapsulated our main page so that is it in that uh, previous video i have already explained about the basic how we can implement the collection view and uh, bind the data so it is my previous tutorial where you can get the source code from that video itself and start implementing this feature so here you can see uh, uh, i have a grid uh, which has encapsulated two uh, object that is our entry this is the entry okay so this is the collection view okay so that is it there are two two uh, controls so entry uh, what happens so the placeholder search where the user enters so you can just uh, re uh, utilize this ui uh, later but first of all uh, let's bind the collection view with the view model okay and get the data to the views okay that means uh, uh, the mbbm approach for binding a collection view with the view uh, view model is going to happen so in order to do that i'll just go to the uh, main page so this is the line just uh, let's neglect this i'll just explain it a little bit late so our uh, main object is to bind uh, the collection view with the view model so that is our main page view model so binding context equals new main, main view model is the basic thing that uh, everybody does and there are other ways also to bind a view with the view model so <clears throat> now let's go to the main page view model that means uh, we have already created a new class create a class name as main page view model and give it a name as main page view model okay so how we are going to send the data to the view model is through the uh, view model itself so here you can see uh, there is a observe this is just a list okay and this is model okay so this is model this is uh, the implementation of the view model that means this object collection of items we are making so this collection of items is going to be added with the data so these three things you have to understand we have to create a model then a uh, uh, container this is just the container then this container is going to hold a list of items like this way okay so that is it don't don't forget to uh, use this bindable object as well as this uh, I, uh, or else uh, there will be uh, errors uh, because of no, non namespace implementations and this bindable object is required for anything um, like we have we can change the object of our own okay so uh, that is it uh, regarding the MBBM implementation whenever the you are uh, you are like uh, the application starts then uh, all the data is uh, generated from the main page view model and it is sent through user items you can see this user items the public property needs to be um, binded with the main page I say item source so that is how the implementation takes place then uh, uh, what we are going to do next is push to bind the objects that is our uh, name as well as address okay so we are going to bind the name as well as address of that specific object that we want to show like let us suppose that the LX and then the address brand and the address arif as well as the address so this is how the mbbm binding of the collection view really works and um, that is regarding the collection view with the mbbm binding then our next objective is uh, the uh, the entry okay like what happens whenever the uh, text gets changed that means whenever we are going to implement any type of changes okay like uh, 
gir something is written right so we need to filter out the collection view so in order to do that we are just going to use the text entry changed uh, event handler over here for the entry so here you can see uh, in our main page.jml.cs this is the simple line of code that i have used then we are going to take a reference of the main page view model because uh, it contains our data that's why we are just uh, going to take the reference of our view model okay and then whenever what happens is in our text entry uh, just let me explain it so whenever the new text value comes up then uh, what we are going to do is uh, uh, our collection view dot item source equals that means this is the collection view this is the main page okay so my collection view is the collection view okay and then uh, this item source we are going to make as a uh, new text value that means okay so whenever it is empty then we are going to uh, replace the uh, view model with its original form then uh, uh, the next thing uh, what we are going to do is if the text is not uh, is changed that means if we have some values inside the entry text then we are going to tell that we are going to get the objects uh, from user items then uh, where uh, the comparison is going to happen that is the name the names okay so the names over here so we are just going to compare either the name or address we can just compare with anything as we like the filtering filtering thing is going to look like this okay so um, where the name dot law lower contains the uh first starting letter of the ng text so that is it how the filter works that means uh each individual object is going to be filtered that is is going to be lowered down to uh, like it might be a uppercase a uh, uppercase at first that's why we are going to make it to a lowercase and then we are going to compare it with the uh inter text uh that is going to, that is in being entered in the entry field so that is all so that that is how the filtering works so this is how uh, really the dotnet maui collection view um so filtering uh works